basically a kind of a quirky little play about on block sales and grave exhumations. Um, it basically features uh, two interwoven narratives. The first one is about a housing agent called Boone and his mother. Hi, I'm Fanny and I play the role of Mother in Boom. Hi, I'm Andrew Loa and I'm playing the son um, called Boone in Boom and I'm also a property agent. Mm -hmm. And he's trying to get me to sell my house. Yes. And I don't want. The other narrative is about a civil servant called Jeremiah and his, he's got the rather morbid task of uh, persuading a corpse to, to allow itself to be exhumed but unfortunately this corpse is not very cooperative. Hi, uh, my name is Erwin Shah Isma and I'll be playing the role of Jeremiah in Boom. Hi, my name is Vincent. I'm going to play corpse, a uh, corpse in Boom. And uh, I believe you all often see me on the screen and this is the first time I'm going to perform in a live theatre with a live audience <laughs> in front of you. That's very challenging. I'm looking forward for that. I think when I first wrote Boom, uh, I thought it would be a very, uh, I mean, it was a very topical play. And I thought, well, you know, after a few years, probably no one want to do it anymore because, you know, it's, it's there and then, you know, the on block phenomenon will probably fade once the housing market crashes and stuff like that. But instead, what, ha what has happened is that the, the constant pressures of of uh, progress and I think of renewal of the whole country, of the, sp of the spaces in Singapore. Um, it, it continues and you realise that these issues never go away. There's always that constant pressure to kind of renew the spaces. And But when that happens, I mean it's necessary, but when that happens then there is real loss, I think. One of the, one of the beauties about Jean's script is how she makes, you know, very simple dialogue have so much meaning behind that as well. We're now uh, in Bukit Brown itself, uh, home of 100,000 tombs. And uh, it's been quite a, a sad experience in the sense because we know a portion of them will be exhumed uh, to make way for progress. But there's so much history here. I'm really glad I did come. It's been quite an eye-opening experience. Um, I think just I was very surprised by the scale of this place. Um, there are five hills and, you know, it's huge. It's, it's this whole world I never, you know, realised. The whole world of the dead and it is really peaceful and beautiful here. It's almost like stepping into a foreign land where I am clearly the intruder to, um, to those that are resting in peace. I, I almost feel like, as Jeremiah, I shouldn't be in a place like this telling someone, well, you need to move out. And then you see these, yeah, these, these, these markers, you know, of the graves that are being exhumed. I mean, and I know, you know, they're gone, they're, they're long gone, but there's still something heartbreaking about, you know, the identities of these people, you know, the stories that I've been hearing, um, you know, this, this, these past couple of hours. Um, and just to think that those things will be lost once, you know, I think the physical markers are actually removed and the graves are actually gone. Come and catch us at Boom! From the 29th of June all the way through to the 8th of July at the SRT DBS Art Centre. So, get, get your, your tickets, tickets now! now. <laughs>